Okay, so Azus sent me some laptops. I have no idea what they are. I believe both of them are 15 inches. I also have another Azus laptop. Now, just doing a quick search on these two models. I haven't seen this on YouTube. I have seen this one on YouTube. So let's unbox this one. I will unbox this one in a separate video. Oh, I don't want to confuse everybody by, you know, unboxing three and you don't know what the hell's going on. But let's have a look what this is and we'll see how it goes. So this is the ROG Zephyrus MGU502. So this is their compact sort of, you know, entry level Zephyrus. I know it's got a 10750H, which is basically your six core CPU. It does have six gigabytes of VRAM. Let's find out. And how do I know all this? It says it on there, but it doesn't say everything on there. It just tells you the model number what CPU it has, how much video RAM it has. So six gigabytes video RAM, 1660, yeah, that's how you sort of know. And it's a Zephyrus M. This thing, these go hard and they're good. They're nice and compact. So let's have a look. And the rule here at Telio Tech is, if it's brand new, I unbox it. So basically this is a G14, but a 15, but with Intel parts. That's how I'm seeing it. Now you might see there that it says property of Asus and yeah, People return them without power supplies. Believe me, I've returned the wrong power supply once and yeah, I had to go pick it up. <laughs> That's how it is. Property of a Zeus, look at that. Oh, so what do we got here? How many watts is this? We have a 230 watt package there. So you know it's gonna go. And that's about it, right? So this is like a G14, very similar design to the G14, but it's a 15 inch and it's got Intel parts. I like the color of this, this is beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for not sending me the black one. I'm sort of running out of room here in the old Telio Tech Studio, so. All right, all right, all right, there it is. And doesn't it look gorgeous? Look at that finish on the lid here. I'm digging this straight away. This looks gorgeous. I love that sort of dot pattern it has, you know, on half the cover there. It looks amazing. So thin and light. That's the first thing I noticed. Thin and light for a 15 incher. And and yes, very much like the G14. So this thing is going to be amazing because we know the G14's amazing. So, you know, it's just a bigger G14 from what I can tell. We'll just give it a thermal test, quick thermal test. Then the testing will get underway and I'll have a look at those other Asus laptops at some point as well. But that finish is just amazing that is nice this is nice this is the kind of laptop i would rock you know i really don't like some of the gaming laptops the way they look this is something i would definitely be able to use just for how good it is one hander there no problems look at that it's like a gray really that's nice 10th generation intel i have no idea what gpu that is but that's a nice premium finish Man, I really like this thing. And you get Thunderbolt. Awesome. I have a new graphics card. It's from Asus. And I can't tell you what it is, but um, I will test it with this. Um, yeah, yeah, I think you can guess what it is. High-res audio, Thunderbolt. Awesome. Wi-Fi 6, of course. Liquid metal. Wolf. Liquid metal, baby. That's the way we roll. Have we got any power? So if it's got liquid metal, you know it's going to be... You know, the temperatures are going to be really good or as good as they can be. And if this is, you know, pretty much like the G14 design, you know it's going to be good. I'm going to have to hook up some power to that. We'll give it a thermal test. And yeah, I'm loving this thing already. As long as everything checks out, you know, you have here. Look at that. That is the way you make a laptop. Audio in, audio out. That's what I want. Not just audio in, not a combination jack. That is the best way. HDMI, of course, USB type A's power jack and ethernet so you get ethernet on it as well and there you have thunderbolt 3 baby now you know all these asus laptops have thunderbolt 3 the last generation they weren't doing it and look how thin that is look how thin that is razor thin easy to hold up another two usb type a's there this is nice this is nice beautiful all right so holy bananas get this thing 4K, 100% Adobe RGB, 1660 Ti in it, 10750H, so 6 core CPU. So yes, it is indeed like a bigger G14, 15 inch G14 with Intel parts and a 4K display option. And that was the weak point of the, maybe the G14, the displays weren't like super high quality, they were fine, but they weren't the high quality, you know, this is 100% Adobe RGB, like 
that is crazy 4k and it looks great it's prism gray i love this finish on it it's like really nice and that's it it's got a saber dac in it too so as i said audio in audio out but it's actually got a dac in it so audio quality will be off the charts this thing here will be a great production machine because you've got a six core cpu you've got a 1660 ti after that diminishing returns and this will be excellent for you know it's got the display for you know content creation 100 adobe rgb it'll be great for content creation and gaming so it treads the line and it looks the part too right it looks awesome so i gotta say this thing is very tempting check out the prices in the description i think you'll be very surprised that's a nice package there what do you want me to concentrate on more on the gaming or the content creation with this thing because this is you know both to me both high res audio as well liquid metal thunderbolt 3 wolf all right let's slam this thing and i'll tell you what the pl1 of this is the power limit one which is what it's supposed to go down to is 90 watts and that's very ambitious but anyway let's see 100 percent cpu cinebench let's run 100 percent gpu with luxmark oh let's go here selected so it is 100% CPU, 100% GPU. It is in its turbo mode. And what do we got here? We have, whoa, CPU power package. What the hell? 100 watts on the CPU, 75 watts on the GPU, 60 degrees on the GPU. We have 81 degrees on the CPU. Wow, 81. And it's uh, 90 watts now, 90 watts. 81 degrees with the gpu going that's important right if the gpu is not going it's not as hot as this and this is still 86 degrees what do we got 87 watts so the best part of 90 watts into the cpu while we're pushing 76 77 watts into the gpu as well 70 degrees on the gpu the thermals are good on this thing this thing's going to be a beast it's going to be a beast uh, this is hardcore. I mean, gaming loads aren't this intensive. Now, it does say like 75 watts on the GPU. It will use more in gaming. Like, it'll use probably 80, 90 watts in gaming. I'm not sure what it's configured to. But it, usually in Lux market, it uses less watts than it does in gaming. So here we can see it went up to 80 watts on the GPU. But um, it's running at 75 watts on the GPU at the moment. And the CPU, what? Is that finished already, Cinebench? No, it's still going. Oh, the temperature went right down. Why did it go down? It went down because it went down to 48 watts on the CPU. Okay. So it will eventually go down to 48 watts. That seems to be baked in there. Maybe 50 watts. And the GPU is going hard, 71 degrees, and now it's 80 degrees. And you can hear it. Listen. Yeah, you can't defy the laws of thermodynamics, can you? It's going to be loud when you're slamming it, 100% GPU and CPU. Be interesting. A good score on Cinebench would be, oh, there you go, 2,700 for this. If I'm not running Cinebench and Luxmark at the same time, it'll probably get around 3,000 in Cinebench. It takes like a 300 haircut, like if you're running the GPU at the same time. So, yeah, thermally, it's good. Even under full load, it did not hit 90 degrees, that CPU. And that was like 90 watts on the CPU. And we're pushing, what, 75 watts on the GPU. So it's going to be a good package thermally. I like it. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.